Earl of Burma Louis Mountbatten was assassinated on August 27, 1979, with provisional IRA volunteer Thomas McMahon placing 50 pounds of gelignite on Mountbatten's fishing boat Shadow 5 as it sat moored at Mulligmore Peninsula the night before. The bomb was detonated by remote control when the boat was pulling away from the quay at a range of about 200 yards. Witnesses reported that by the time the smoke cleared, there was nothing left but a circle of white foam on the water. McMahon had been arrested two hours before the bomb went off under suspicion of operating a stolen vehicle, with the IRA claimed that it was a remote control device indicating that somebody involved certainly got away. Former British MI6 operative Maurice Oldfield had personally met with Mountbatten before his trip and advised him not to travel to Ireland because intelligence warned that the provisional IRA plans to target the royal family. Mountbatten had insisted, but the Irish are my friends, even though he had doubled the guard at his Irish residence back in 1974. The blast killed Mountbatten and two teenagers, Nicholas Natchbull, his grandson, and Paul Maxwell, the cabin boy, with 83-year-old Doreen Bradburn, a Mountbatten in-law, dying in the hospital the following day. Mountbatten was reportedly alive when fished from the water, but perished on the way to the shore. Nicholas's brothers and parents survived the blast. Nearly 200 kilometers away, the provisional IRA was performing another attack in Warren Point using two bombs and a double bluff to kill 18 British soldiers, but it was the death of a single member of the royal family that covered the British headlines the following day, with the provisional IRA knowing the media value of such a target. The PRA statement said that this was a discriminate act to bring the attention of the English people to the continuing occupation of our country. When McMahon was arrested, paint from the boat was found on his car, and traces of nitroglycerin were found on his person. In November of 1979, he was convicted of first-degree murder in the Republic of Ireland and was sentenced to life imprisonment. Margaret Thatcher used the incidents to justify using the British SAS to assassinate people they thought to be known IRA assets, continuing the cycle that would lead to an assassination attempt on her just five years later, and another on her successor after her abrupt resignation five years after that. After 19 years, McMahon was paroled as part of the Good Friday Agreement. Now, a lot of people like to make claims about Mountbatten and children in order to justify the collateral damage of this assassination. If you have evidence of that, go ahead and bring it forward, but anyone who tries to claim that these boys were better off dead is a piece of shit. I've seen you fuckers in my comments before. Mountbatten was responsible for at least a million civilian deaths during his incompetent partitioning of India. 13 gone and not forgotten, we got 18 on Mountbatten.